and I didn't understand the reflection. I mean, after 28 years, I finally had sex, I jumped out of an airplane, and here I was shaving for the first time, you know? So I was like, Uranus, who the hell are you? Hi folks, it's Uranus, welcome to another video. Today we're talking about facial hair and how hormonal replacement therapy helped me to go from absolutely zero facial hair to the caveman look and how much time it took to do this. And we're starting right now. So facial hair, when you have it, you never think about it. It just is there, it grows and from time to time you have to cut it to still be presentable at the office and so that people don't think you have a hygiene problem. But when you don't have it or it grows like a patchwork, it can really be an obsession. And I was in that category. I always wanted to have a beard and that masculine look that goes with it. Basically, beard growth depends on two things. First of all, your genetics and secondly, your hormones. And I was screwed on both of them. There's not a single member of my family that has a full beard and my body never produced any testosterone and DHT because the hormonal command center up there was on strike. So when all my friends were changing during puberty and growing facial hair, I was left with absolutely nothing on my face. Like the peaches I'm buying in the, in the discount grocery store every week have more fuss on them than I had back then. All the people I was hanging out with had facial hair and I really started to be jealous. Just so you have an idea, this is me when I was 18 years old and when I was 19 years old. You know when people tell you that the more you shave it, the more it grows? Well, for me, that was absolutely a pile of donkey shit advice, you know, because I tried to shave it so many times and nothing ever happened up there. Up there. Of course, I didn't know that I had lower testosterone than that peach we just talked about. Your testicles produce testosterone and then a part of that testosterone is being converted to dehydrotestosterone or DHT. This is probably the most androgenic hormone ever. This stuff is responsible for the development of the male characteristics and it includes the growth of the penis during puberty for example and the growth of facial hair and body hair. Now before starting hormones at the age of 25 I had never had any body hair and any facial hair whatsoever. These days things are a bit different. So I started hormonal replacement therapy at 25 to finally go through puberty. At the time, I actually knew a woman who had more facial hair than I did. So a couple of weeks after I started HRT, I noticed I had more and more of this little soft peach fuzz growing all over my cheeks and my mustache area. Nothing major, you know, but stuff that, that soft little stuff was still growing there. It really took a long time before anything really noticeable started to happen regarding my facial hair. After almost 10 months, I noticed I had this small little real hair starting to grow on my chin and uh, it was growing in patches, of course. And I, I almost came the first time I saw these hairs in the mirror, you know, because I had never had any facial hair before. So it took about 10 months before noticing the first real changes. After a year and a half, 18 months later, I noticed more and more of this peach fuzz was transforming into harder hairs on my cheeks and on my chin area and on the sides also. Still, nothing worthy of being called a beard, but when I was kissing somebody hello, and French people tend to do that a lot, for the first time in my life, I was getting the answer to, to me like, I would sting. That was the first time I would hear that from anyone. So the small little fuzz hairs had transformed into something a bit harder, but still it was, it was a patchwork. Nothing, nothing like I have now. After two and a half years on HRT, like you can see on this picture, the hairs had started to grow more and more and the sides were filling up more nicely and it was growing much faster. It wasn't a full beard yet, but I could let it grow for a week or two without looking ridiculous, you know. My face was getting more masculine because of all the androgens in my body and because I was going through puberty, you know, so I looked like a completely different person compared to two and a half years before that. That's also at that time I switched my medication. I was on ACG monotherapy, so I was producing my own testosterone and I switched endocrinologists and I went on testosterone replacement therapy. So instead of HCG, I was fully on testosterone and this had tremendous effects 
As you will see, this had tremendous effects on my beard grow. One year later, I was 28 years old and I was on hormonal replacement therapy for just about three and a half years and I finally had my full beard. And yet I looked like a completely different person, you know. I remember at one point I was standing in front of the mirror and I didn't understand the reflection. I mean, after 28 years, I finally had sex, I jumped out of an airplane and here I was shaving for the first time, you know, so I was like, Uranus, who the hell are you? One year later, I had the caveman look and I was actually really happy because I always wanted to have a beard. Of course, genetics play a huge role too. Don't go thinking that because you don't have a beard, you can just inject a syringe full of testosterone into your ass and the next day you're going to wake up with a full beard. You know, it doesn't happen like that. I was a special case. I was going through puberty at 25 and that, that's why I'm Uranus, you know? It's all about what you get from your parents also, genetics and if everything works on your body. For example, I know people with upper testosterone ranges, really good level of testosterone, but they can't grow a full beard or it's still in patches because of their genetics. I had to learn how to shave properly in my late 20s. Now in my, I'm in my 30s, it's really fun to have a beard, but it actually requires some maintenance too. Otherwise your girlfriend will approach you and try to kiss you and she will tell you you actually smell like dog food. Anyway, this was my story. I really hope you like it. Subscribe if you like my content. Leave me a comment in the comment section and catch you on the next one. Uranus out.